Nearly all airplanes are equipped with a hydraulic system. While small general aviation airplanes may have small, simple hydraulic systems, bigger jets have very complex hydraulic systems. In smaller airplanes, the hydraulic system powers the brakes to stop the airplane, extend and retract the landing gear, and change the blade angle on some constant speed propellers as previously discussed. On larger airplanes, like those used by the airlines, the hydraulic system powers a majority of the airplane, including the flight controls and flaps. Usually, a hydraulic system consists of a reservoir where the hydraulic fluid is stored, a pump that moves the fluid, a filter to keep contaminants out of the system, a relief valve in case of a hydraulic malfunction, and actuators which the hydraulic system operates. The hydraulic system works by pumping incompressible fluid through hydraulic lines from one actuator into another, causing the actuator pistons to extend or contract. The hydraulic pressure exerted throughout the actuators is significant, making hydraulic systems very powerful. Let's examine the brake system on a typical general aviation airplane. As the pilot presses on the brakes, a piston drives fluid from the brake actuator on the pedal through hydraulic lines and then to the actuator near the wheels. The fluid pushes a piston, which then mechanically squeezes the brake pads against the brake disc, causing the airplane to slow down. 